Hello and welcome to Getting Started with You Do It. In this video, you will learn how to use the Universal Design Online Content Inspection Tool, or You Do It, to scan and help you fix accessibility issues inside your Canvas course. You Do It appears on the left hand course navigation menu for instructors. Students will not see the You Do It link in the navigation menu. Once we click the link, you Do It will run a first time scan of the course and we will land on the You Do It welcome page. Each time we click You Do It from the course navigation menu, our course will automatically be scanned for accessibility issues. The welcome page provides contextual and orientation information and the page also includes details around what You Do It looks for as it is scanning your course. Under each of these items, we can see an explanation of the issue in our course and how it can be fixed. After reading this information, we may want to check the box at the bottom of the page to skip the welcome message in the future. Click Continue at the bottom of the welcome page to go to the You Do It homepage. From the You Do It homepage, we see a number of accessibility errors and suggestions found in the scan. At the top of the page, there are three tabs, Home, You Fix It, Review Files. Directly under these tabs, we see prominently displayed the number of issues fixed, manually resolved, and files reviewed. We will talk about the difference between those in a few moments. On the right side of the page, we see some predefined filters under ways to get started. These are aimed at helping us know where to begin. For example, instructors can search issues easiest to fix or by issue type. So perhaps we just want to work on avoid using color alone for emphasis. So every link on this page is essentially a pre-built filter to help us work through accessibility errors and suggestions making corrections. For this demonstration, let's begin by looking at those errors easiest to fix. We will select easiest to fix and then click the get started button. Notice we are now working under the you fix it area. This is the area where we will work to correct the accessibility issues and suggestions. This page is displayed as a filtered list based on the easiest issues to fix. But if we want to filter further, we can click the filter button at the top right. We will see a list of filters we can use to further refine our search, such as by content type, or we might want to hide unpublished content so we can fix the content students are currently using. Also notice at the top of the page there is a summary bar that essentially keeps track of the errors, suggestions, as well as information to help us fix the issue. If we go to the first error in the list and click the review button, we are brought to a window that provides information about the error or suggestion, as well as information to help us fix the issue. So for the first issue, we are reminded that alternate text should not be the image file name. If we read the description, we are being asked to add some new alternate text for the image that is previewed on the right. If we need to see the page where the error occurred, we can look under the preview box. The page here is identified as an announcement and there is a link that will take us directly to the page where the error occurred. If we go to this page, we can see from the context that the image is purely for decoration. I'll go back to my You Do It Cloud scan and instead of typing new alternate text, I'm simply going to mark the image as decorative. Once I've done this, I can click Save and the error has been corrected on my page. Now I can click the Next button in the bottom right to move to the next issue in the list. The next issue refers to avoiding using color alone for emphasis. We can see from the preview that the word instructions has been typed in red. The description under the error tells us that when emphasizing text, we may use color with sufficient contrast as long as we also apply some other form of emphasis, such as bold or italics. 
This ensures that screen reader users are aware of the text's importance. We can use the checkbox to make this text bold. Since the color contrast is in the valid ratio, and we also know it's valid because it's in green color, this is all we need to do to correct this issue. Again, we can click Save and move to the bottom of the screen and click Next to move to the next issue. For this demonstration, instead of going to the next issue, we're going to click Close and we will be taken back to the UFixit main screen. I want us to take a look at a video in our course. If I click on Home and go back to the You Do It home page, I can filter under By Issue Type to locate a video in our course that is marked with closed captions were auto-generated. You'll notice there are six of these type errors. I'll click the Get Started button and we'll go to one of those six. Again, we're now in the You Fix It area. I'm going to click Review on the first issue. This video is marked as closed captions were auto-generated. And the explanation here is that typically auto-generated captions are not accurate and reliable enough to meet accessibility requirements. This is not something that you do it has a magic button or fix for, but you do it does call our attention to any video content we may have in our course. So for this video, let's suppose that we know it is accurately captioned. We have either corrected auto captions or we have submitted this video to be commercially captioned. So rather than having this issue coming up each time we run the you do it scan, we can mark this issue as resolved. This is the main difference between fixing an issue and marking an issue as resolved. Manually resolved is something that we have to independently determine and resolve without the assistance of you do it. To review files, we will click the tab at the top. You do it does not currently allow us to fix Word or PDF files inside the program, but it will gather those files together in one area. From this screen, we can click on the file that we want to review. Here we see some information about making Word files accessible. From this screen, we can download the Word file and make accessibility corrections in Word, PowerPoint, or if it's a PDF file in Adobe Acrobat. Then we can upload or drag the corrected file here and mark as reviewed. We can leave you do it at any time by clicking on another item from our navigation menu. Remember that when we click the you do it link from the course menu again, the scan will run and only show errors for any new or changed content. But the errors we corrected or marked as resolved will not be shown in future scans. Instead, they will be listed under Issues Fixed, Manually Resolved, or Files Reviewed at the top of the You Do It home screen. For additional questions or assistance, please contact your instructional design partner.